Think a sluggish throttle means an expensive trip to the mechanic? Think again. You can fix it yourself with three simple throttle position sensor reset methods. Each one serves a specific purpose, and knowing which to use will save you both time and money. Every step will be straightforward, and I'll point out what to avoid so you don't damage anything. Let's start with the easiest one, the ignition reset method. This works best when your throttle feels slow, the engine revs unevenly, or acceleration doesn't match your pedal input, but no error codes appear. Make sure the car is fully off and parked safely. Remove the key and wait a few seconds. Now insert the key again and turn it to the on position without starting the engine. The dashboard lights will flash, that's normal. Next, move to the gas pedal. Slowly press it all the way down to the floor over about four seconds. Hold it there for three seconds, then slowly release it back up over four seconds. Don't rush, smooth steady movements matter here. Repeat that press hold release process two more times. It might feel repetitive, but skipping a step can throw the calibration off completely. When you've done it three times, turn the key off and remove it. Wait 10 seconds before starting the car again. Then, start it up and pay attention to how the throttle reacts. If the response feels smoother or quicker, you've successfully reset the sensor. Now let's move on to the battery disconnect method. This one's best for vehicles with electronic throttle systems when the first method doesn't fix the issue. Be cautious here. Never touch both terminals at once and make sure the key is out of the ignition. Park safely and pop the hood. Locate your battery and use a wrench to loosen the nut on the black negative cable. Remove the cable carefully and make sure the metal end doesn't touch anything else. Leave the battery disconnected for 5 to 10 minutes. This drains any remaining charge and resets the throttle memory. After that, reconnect the cable and tighten it securely. Insert the key and turn it to the on position, but don't start the engine yet. Let the dashboard lights cycle through completely. Then, start the car and let it idle for 10 to 15 minutes without pressing the gas pedal. Once done, turn it off, restart, and test how it responds. If the lag is gone and the throttle feels sharper, this reset worked. If neither method solves your issue, it's time for the throttle position sensor reprogramming method. Use this when your vehicle shows persistent TPS error codes or after replacing the throttle body. It's slightly more advanced, but still manageable if you follow carefully. Start by ensuring your engine is cool. Disconnect the negative battery cable and wait for about two minutes. Then reconnect it. Turn the key to the on position without starting the car. Listen closely. You'll hear a faint buzzing from the throttle body. That sound means the throttle is learning its new position. Don't touch anything during this process. It usually takes three to five minutes for the buzzing to stop. Once it's quiet, turn the key off and remove it. Then start the car and let it idle for 10 to 15 minutes to finish the recalibration. Finally, take it for a short drive and notice how the acceleration feels. If it's smooth and immediate, your throttle position sensor has been successfully reprogrammed. After resetting, maintaining your throttle body is crucial. A dirty throttle can undo all this work and make the response sluggish again. Clean it every 20,000 kilometers to keep things running efficiently. But be careful what you use. Never spray carburetor cleaner, thinner, or gasoline into the throttle body. They can damage the coating. Use a proper throttle body cleaner like CRC. It's effective, safe for sensors, and helps prevent performance drops. Keeping up with this simple maintenance routine ensures your engine stays smooth and responsive for the long term. You now know all three methods, ignition reset, battery disconnect, and full reprogramming. Each one works for different situations, from mild throttle lag to complete sensor replacement. Apply the right one for your car, and you'll avoid unnecessary trips to the shop while keeping your engine in top condition.